And welcome, welcome to another to episode of the Retro Funhouse. Fun House. I am the one and only. Who am I? Ben Smith. That's right. And I'm also Yankee Smith, and we have two special guests today. We are here with Manuel, and we are also here with Manuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. This Chris. Is... This is, they are joining us. They've been in our episodes of the Retro Fun House when really. we go out. And about at times with uh, conventions and game hunting. But today, they're going to be joining us for a little Funhouse podcast, the unedited Edited. podcast. Where whatever we say is what you're going to see and what I'm you're going to hear. I'm more of the cameraman. So he's more of the cameraman. I'm but uh, So happy. basically, it's just like if you've never seen the podcast, it's what you see is what you get. We do not edit. It is just that. So we mess up. We mess up. So... We're all going to take a topic and go down the... But we don't mess up. We're trained professionals. We're trained professionals. Manuel is a trained animal. So we're going to be talking about gaming, wrestling, and then some other some stuff. Our topics today are some video games from my father here. His top three video games of all time and everybody else's opinions. And then we have my brother here, Yankee, talking about his top five WWE wrestlers of all time with... Manuel of course, ours is. And then Manuel has chosen the topic of top five WWE theme songs, and then we'll which is going to be very debatable. Yeah. And then we'll also. And then I the will line. finish off, or maybe finish off, with your top five Marvel characters. Yeah. And we're going to try and do this all within a thirty-minute podcast episode. So let's four. get started and get to it. We'll start with something simple. We'll do the top three greatest <laughs> games of all time. And only one person's top three matters. Not yours, so die. Right. So, so anyways, let's go from top three. Number three, if you've got it, throw it out there. What's your third number three, favorite game of all time? Any console or arcade? Number Ooh, three. Or arcade. Number three, I will have to go with Skate 3 for the Xbox 360. It is just basically like Tony Hawk, but you have a lot more options to do whatever you want. <laughs> <Not Tony> what, <laughs> sorry, I, I love Tony Hawk, but... I love Skate 3 a lot more. Skate 3 is not Tony Hawk. <laughs> maybe Tony Hawk might make it on the list. Wah, maybe. Wah, wah. <laughs> Manuel's locked in. <laughs> Manuel is locked in and he was like, that is not Tony Hawk. It is wah. indeed not Tony Hawk, but you can't make him in the game. You well, can also make Jesus. Yes. So, my number three, now that I just thought about this, because we're doing not just console games, but also arcades, WWF WrestleFest, which was a four-player Arcade came out in the 80s. late 80s, early 90s. You can still find it in some of the retro arcades. A great game. It's fun. I still love that game. So that would be my number three. Because I remember one time I made a guy mad when I was like seven and I played that game. He got mad because he threw me out and I put another coin into play and then I threw him out and won the game. The guy was like, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is y'all's top three? My number three will be... Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Oh, I thought he was going to Is it really an Ultimate Alliance? <laughs> he just took this guy. <laughs> he t- he, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We will have he a took number. somebody's number three. <laughs> yep. Let's see the secret arrows. My number three was yes, <laughs> Ultimate Alliance. It could still be. It yeah. could still be. It's, no, no, no. Because I don't I agree with other people. believe in Joe Hendry. We are going to be forever oh. mentioning Joe Hendry. Um, <laughs> my number three would have to be Joe Hendry. The hottest game out. NCAA. Goat Simulator. Oh, that no. game sucks. Oh. NCAA Farms College Football 25. 25. 25. What about 14? It was. It was and until 20, 25 came out. Number two. I'll have to Did go everybody away. say their third? Yes. Oh. oh, and he said Tony Hawk Skate 3. No, I said just Skate 3. Oh, okay. Number two for me would have to be anytime I go to arcade. It's one of the go-to games for me. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I think for I me. Pac-Man fever. I think Pac-Man for me. Fever. You can you can find Pac-Man it at any. Fever. You can find it at any arcade sometimes if you do own it for your <laughs> consoles. <laughs> It'd be none other. First of all, it would be none other than Guitar Hero Three, arguably my favorite game because I would basically cook anyone well, that we'll goes. Well, pay to go to the retro game. arcade and he plays that game and that's it. I will only play that game because I'm. I'm better than everyone. I'm better than you, and I will prove it. When My number two is going to be another arcade because I love arcades. He does. Dragon's Lair. That's not an arcade, too. Yes. Dragon's Lair is an arcade. It's also a video game on the NES and on the Sega. Dragon's Lair, the arcade, is the best version. But 
I had Dad play Dragon's Lair on the Wii. That's really good too. But Wii. the arcade, the arcade Dragon's the Lair is really good. That's probably my number two. And well, it wouldn't have been my number two as a kid growing up, but now as an adult, it's my number two. And now the line number two. I already went. You already went. Oh yeah. What's What's your you number two? My number two is WB SmackDown versus Raw 2007. That's dumb. overrated. Oh, overrated. He oh. his own neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the crap. He likes the crap. You like the crap. What? what? I like the crap. <laughs> oh. That's your word, but okay. But your favorite reason for liking the game, you said it all the time. The GM mode. The GM mode. Was very addicting back then. And the he GM. wasn't a good GM. The GM mode is Let's general keep in mind, mode. When you were GM mode, when we used to watch you play, you made some very interesting decisions. And his we're ratings weren't very good. The fans didn't like you as a yeah. They loved my show. Also, too, the new WWE 2K24 game, they did bring back GM mode, but it is a lot more Now, harder. here's a really quick one. AEW. Has anybody played it? Yes. It's been out for a while. I have it on PS4. No. It's it's not that bad, but it's not that good. No, 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 no. AEW Fight Forever is arguably the worst fighting game of all time. AEW is about as good as TNA's wrestling game was. And AEW is AEW soon to be the next WCW. But let's go ahead and move to number one. Let's move to number one. Number one, in my opinion. He has to look at his notes. Is hands down. Well, not hands down. Hands Just me, newer, newer kind of generation. Would have to be Call of Duty Warzone or any Call of Duty game, in my uh, opinion. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. I hate every single Call of Duty game nowadays mm-hmm. because it's about money. Mm-hmm. I hate. Yeah. I think number one in my opinion, the greatest WWE game of all time, uh, in my opinion, WWE 2K14. Best roster had the best. Place to obviously open up WrestleMania 30 at the time too. That was probably about a few, like probably not maybe ten years ago for mm-hmm. now. But I'd argue to say it's the greatest WWE game of all time because it featured a lot more game mode. It also had a lot more interesting story with it too. Mm-hmm. I'd say my number one would be another arcade Double Dragon. That game was not that good. That was a great game. I would rather play Bad or games. Double Dragon too. Let's play Bad Dudes with the Grand 2. Why not my number one? It's Rock Band 2. Yes. That's probably my favorite song mm-hmm. list. Or Guitar Hero. Or Guitar Hero. Any of the games are fun, but Rock Band 2 is probably my yeah. favorite. But Guitar Hero is better. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. Did he though? Did he? He said it last week. Oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Back. Anyways, that's right. our top three. If you don't, if you got your top three, let us know in the comments. Or if you agree or disagree with one of our comments or our picks, um, it could change day by day. Uh, and also, too, we it might change at the end of this video. All right, so how do you move on to the next, next one. topic? We are to, we're what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What, are, what do you have? What do you have? We're going to be mentioning the top, what our opinion, we're our top five w, favorite WWE wrestlers. I'll kick it off at number five. I will forever stand on this for the rest of my life. I will forever say this. I will say number five is Macho Man Randy Savage, arguably one of the greatest in the golden era with Hulk Hogan. Had a really good match with Ricky Steamboat Dragon. But besides that, I love him a lot. Sad to see that he passed away, but, you know, let's go from there. I'm going to say my number five. And off camera before, I had a different little list. But now I think I'm going to say my number five would be Stone Cold Steve Austin would be my number five, I think. I drank a beer. What? I drank another beer. What? I drank two beers. What? What? I drank three beers. What? What? You can do that all day. My number five, and it's sad to hear that he's retiring. This is his last run. Would be John Cena. Ooh, 2025. Hands down, going to be one of the greatest to ever step in the ring. Yeah. Now, here's a big question. The guy that had six moves total. But here's a big question. Who, I'm get that open head. Who's going to, <laughs> who is so. going to <laughs> induct him in the Hall of Fame? Me. People are saying it could be Randy. Or Jack it, Swagger. Or it could be... Jack Swagger. Not Jack yeah. Swagger. Or Seth McMahon. You don't stop putting that It could be the Repo Man. Yes, or the Repo sense. Man. Right? That would make sense. Repo that, man. They have a lot of history. Yeah, Name have, one thing. Oh, it might be the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Brawler. Oh, could be. Could be. Might right. be the Ultimate Warrior. It might be Tony. Well, my top five. Oh. It might be Tony. Top, top five. Hold on. Hold on. Your number five. My number five would have to be Y2J, Chris Jericho. Is it because of WCW? I'm sorry. I thought we said WWE wrestlers. That also counts for AEW. He had, had a long career in WWE. <laughs> That's why he said Y2J, not the Learning Tree. That's right. Oh. Or what was his other name it's before that? Man. Uh, just Dan Bryan. The demigod. I think mm-hmm. We have no, a lot of names. But now, did you say you're number five? Yes. Don't quote Steve Austin. Oh, yeah. You're number five. 
I just had my hairs. All right, number four for me, I will Seth Rollins. I don't. Th- I I really do love Seth Rollins. I've all these done for being WWE champion, Universal champion, also being World Heavyweight champion, Tag Team champion. I just. I just. I see oh. more people above him <laughs> currently <laughs> right now. But besides that, I think Seth is a good place to put on number four because I can't really put him anything higher than an eighty-three. So. My favorite wrestler number four would be the immortal Hulk. Hogan, rip your shirt off, man. No, I like this. No, don't, don't do what we did. Just because I like Hogan's run in the 80s, I was go to character in the 80s. Hogan was the guy in the 80s. Was it really? And then when he turned heel in the 90s, made it even better. Was he really mm-hmm. the favorite, or was well, he just changing? Start the attitude era. The only thing that Hogan Maybe. did in the attitude era was make himself win. So, number four. Ooh. That don't work for me, brother. That's right. It never does. <laughs> My mm. number four. It's me. Okay, number four for me. I forgot about this guy. Uh-oh. He could be funny, and he's also a great wrestler. And that's Jack Kurt Angle. Swagger. Yeah. Kurt Angle. Oh, Kurt Angle. Mr. Baldy. Does he suck though? Eh, from time to time, but I think that's just jealousy. <laughs> whenever they chant that. <laughs> All right. My number four would have to be The Rock. Ooh, attitude. He's the people's champ though. Yes, he is. Yeah, sometimes he was the most electrifying yeah. man. I feel the energy already. What is his name now? What is the, the final, final boss? Final balls. He, he, must have been, he must have been playing a game. I wonder what his top three would be. We want Cody. <laughs> <laughs> his his top three would probably be something with Python something games. with him in it. Yeah, probably Jumanji. Scorpion Kings. Oh, the rundown is the best rock movies. Oh, be quiet. Your probably favorite movie. Is I don't know about that. I, I <laughs> the Rock's oh, best movie. Like Great Iron Game. Yeah. Yes, but the greatest rock movie of all time is Central Intelligence with Kevin Hart. That sucked okay. too. That movie's good. Okay. But number well, we three, said the greatest, not the worst. <laughs> but number three, I'm gonna go with WWE star turn AEW to arguably one of the greatest AEW stars of all time. John Moxley, Jack Swagger. a.k.a. Dean Ambrose. Yep, the man right. had a good career in WWE, but AEW made him yes. even more Jack phenomenal. Jack Swagger sure did have a great career. And by the way, I'm intrigued with his new heel turn. His new heel turn is very interesting. Yeah. Apparently, Shane McMahon will be in there sooner or later, which will be Most interesting. Rumors. Most rumors, AEW. Yeah. I'm going to say my number three would be, and I think I'll flip-flop these two. I'm going to say the ultimate warrior is my number three. You cannot switch Ooh. after that. I can't because I was off camera. What did you say your number three was before? I'll tell you. Later. We'll figure that out later. Anyway, Sales of War is one of my favorites. Again, another childhood wrestling. My number three would be the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. AJ a face of total nonstop action. Whoa. Total nonstop action. That's right. Is it nonstop, though? So they're kind of going at it right now. Yeah, yeah. They haven't right. stopped for the last 20 years. Oh, whoa. Holla, if they're, you hear me. They're due for a retirement. Mm-hmm. All right. Was that number three already? Yeah. yeah. All right. Number twos. My number two, I already have it. Did you do number three? Mm-hmm. My number two would be the heartbreak kid, Sean Meekles. Mm-hmm. I'm going to actually go very yeah, unique over here. here. My number two Overrated would have to be... this guy, so... Hey, day one, it's just me, Oof. Jay Uso? No, I'm just lying. Oh, okay. But, but I do I like Jay Uso. He's so going to say okay. Pat McAfee. My number two would have to be Seth freaking Rollins. Ooh. The face that really runs the place. I'm gonna actually go uh-huh. to the NXT. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the NXT Man, Black. Like he don't even have him in his top five. I'm gonna go NXT. No, not even top ten. I don't even NXT. have him in the top fifty. Oh, I'm gonna go <laughs> NXT Black and Gold era back in 2017. Arguably one of the greatest NXT runs as champion and as North American champion, Mr. Adam Cole. I wish he made it on the main roster. He was made to be a champion. Oh. I will forever argue to say that Adam Cole would have been the likes of Seth Rollins. Baron Corbin, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan. Baron he Corbin. Beat, he would have beat everyone. I don't know why I mentioned Baron <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> Besides that, I think Adam Cole should have. Does that guy still wrestle? Yes, he does. He's on popcorn. I think he's, he's a tag team now. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Adam Cole never got sent up to the main roster, but I think he would have been one of the greats. <laughs> Especially to the undisputed era music was amazing. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll right. get to that later on. Hold up. Well, we will two? get into uh, uh, number two. Is out? Did, did everybody get their number Did you get number two? Everybody done number I didn't two. do my number two. My number, number two, two was the best <sighs> in the world, CM Punk. Loser. 
Barely won over a decade later. Best in the world, but he's number two. <laughs> <laughs> so second in the world. Second in the world. Well, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Number, too late. Never mind. Keep that in mind. He chose him at second. <laughs> and our number one. All right, I'm just going to take it off right here. Number one is obviously greatest wrestler of all oh. time. Better than every one of y'all's there list. Brian Anderson. Arguably one of the greatest of all time. Defeated both Where Batista. Is that what? Or beating he, anyone in his own game. But he literally beat Batista and Randy Orton at WrestleMania 30, and then he beat Swerve Strickland at Swerve all. Swerve Strickland. He beat everyone. Who that guy beat? Yeah. He beat Heyman, came oh Cowboy Page. Is this the same him. guy who argued with the off brand Kane? Yeah. Yeah. What was wrong with that? So my number one would be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever would Brett be. Brett the Hitman Hart. That's right. Of the what legendary heart family. My favorite wrestler of all time. I'm sorry, but, but Brett the Hitman Hart was not that good. Bret Hart was the best technician ever. Ask any wrestler that ever wrestled Bret Hart, they'll tell you. He was a he professional was of all the way. That's why he got... Yeah, let's ask Goldberg. Yeah, what's ask Goldberg? Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg wasn't a wrestler. <laughs> what's ask, what's, what's ask any of Oh, and my number one, folks, the heartbreak kid. Shawn Meekles. Shawn Meekles. From Wish. Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Shawn Michaels. <laughs> that's, that's what his name would be. Question, are you picking Shawn Michaels after the So your number incident? one matched my number two. And my number one, let's I go ahead and throw the ones up for one of the greatest wrestlers of all Man, time. Point to yourself. The Tribal Chief. So let's call it. So no. let's call it. Oh. <laughs> the Tribal Chief. Jacob Roman too. Reigns. Roman. I think Roman Reigns. And I like Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. He's already hands down in I think the if, I think if we did a uh, past, Reigns. present... In future, future kind of countdown, I would have Roman as my number one as a current. But if I did, you do all time, you really got to break down your all time favorite. Yeah, so it's really hard. Yeah. yeah, because then it's more of who was your favorite wrestler in that era when you were so watching. Does everyone have their yeah. number ones? So there's our top five. Let us know again in the comments. Your top five, maybe there's some you agree with us on, maybe there's some you didn't like that Most we likely put out there. And that's okay. It's our opinion. And you know why it's okay? Because everybody says, L, A, night, yeah. yeah. Heading, into num- and heading into the next topic of the top five, <laughs> we're going to head into <laughs> the, to our top five of the best WWE theme song. Oh, top five. Ooh. All right, let's get into I'll it. I'll actually top kick five. it off with number five. I think I'll kick it off. I will kick no. it off. I think I'll kick you both off. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll kick it off with number five, Mr. Manuel. I want to kick it off with the most underrated guy. I love the music. I'm going to go with someone during the golden era of WWE. I'm going to go with the Mountie, a.k.a. I am a Mountie. A.k.a. Intercontinental Champion at the time. I think he had a really good Jacques theme song. Jean? He's he, he still he, wrestles. No, he, 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 doesn't. Some, no, he, he doesn't. has a very good sound. I love his music. My I'm number five, a current wrestler, his theme song's actually grown on me a lot. And that would be the Ring General Gunther. I really oh, like God. his theme song now. Oh, yes. He's, if we he's get the, the real final boss in my opinion. If we did a top five hated ones, I think number one top would be... Top five theme, song. so theme songs, right? Yeah, theme songs. I would say my number five theme song would, got, would probably be, right now, number five, Roman Reigns. Oh. I like his intro. I like that. It's Are you really, doing really I Am Greatness or... His original head of, head of the table one. The one so you're doing heel. Yeah, Roman. the heel Roman. His I Am Greatness one's a lot more better. Oh, I, 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 like, I like the heel one. All right, and then we're going to kick it off with the last one. My number five, My number five. would have to be, of course, Just it's an actual song, of course, CM Punk's song, Cult of Personality. So, so originally by? Uh, Living Color. That's right. Living That's right. I'm going to go with oh, they are. number four. <laughs> I think number four, number four. I'm going to go with Seth Rollins' Visionary. I think it is really one of the best, but like I said, I'm not really moved by Seth Rollins so much anymore. There's not a whole lot that he's really done yeah. for me yeah. as much right now, but you know, maybe he'll change. But we'll see. He's not like number four, guys. Number four for me, I'll kick it off. We'll go back to the 2005 times. The Evolution. That was actually. Randy Orton, Triple H, <laughs> Batista, and Ric Flair. Bow, bow. Okay. I'm going to say my number four is WWE Hall of Fame Tag Team Bro. Demolition. Dun 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 dun. Here comes the axe. Here comes the smell. Okay. You have to list it. You never heard it. It's really fun. Fun. My advice is just 
my number four from the ruthless aggression era that became theme slow chemical how slow? Like slow. Slow. Like finger eleven. Oh. That's when Kane would do this. Oh, it's that one. Yes. That was on the and if you don't remember, look up a video where Kane does that, and then the pyros don't go off. And he's like this. <laughs> and he I tries quit. so hard to hold in the smile. <laughs> That's uh, our number four. Number three. Number three. I think I'm gonna kick off with number three. I actually love this thing, but. Yeah, it's hard as you narrow them down because there's a lot of good. Number know. three of all time for me, I'm gonna say Triple H, my game. The one was like the. Bwah, bwah, the my bwah, time. Bwah. Yeah, my time. Yep. I love that one. That was his, the my game. Yeah. Bwah, bwah. Late night. <laughs> 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 that, that was a good one. I remember that. Triple H always has good. I'm gonna games. say my number three would be Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin. Yes. The Which one? Glass. There's different ones. Oh, the original. Dun 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 dun. I done. love the one where it's like I don't really like the one with the sing. Well, I like that one. Well, yeah, that well, one is well, well, well. That, 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 Yeah. And the mess with the mess. What's your number three? My number three would have to be... Ricochet. Uh, whatever. What? The Chris Benoit theme by the band <laughs> Our Lady Peace. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, what's that girl's name? <laughs> Tiffany? Tiff? Tiffany? Tiffany Shadow? Tiffany Time. Time. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> my number three... One. Would have to be Eddie Guerrero's that Latino. Oh, Latino, yeah. Latino. Latino. So now we got two. China. We got two more. We Number two. two. Oh, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna actually go with a tag team this time. Let me go. I'm oh, sorry to cut you off. I got a number two. My number two, like he said, was Triple H, but. With Ed's Park and Shawn oh, Michaels yeah. and DX yes. D Generation and I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do not the just team. the theme song I'm sorry not just the theme song but the pyros and everything yeah, they would do there's with only two yes. and I've got so many I really enjoy I'm gonna go with the tag team I'm gonna do NWO from WCW where it would be Hogan with the belt and there would be oh, Kevin Nash the, uh, the Wolfpack Wolf, team no, no not Wolfpack the, I uh, the Wolfpack. Jimi Hendrix one. Oh, uh, all along the watch down, 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 down. where it's like, where it's like, then they come yeah. out like it's like that oh. with the wolf with the wolf pack sign and Kevin Ash. I've got three, Saul. three songs I would put in my top two. You have to put one. You could, do, put, you could do an honorable mention as well. Honorable mention would be the Rockers because I love that that what was old it? Rockers theme song. But I'm gonna say Bret Hart's entrance is one that I always really enjoyed. So my number two would be the Bret Hart entrance. But I'm going to mention would be the Rockers. All right, my two and one is from the same band. But number two is Burning My Light, Randy Orton's team. Oh. Right after he left Evolution. That was the... When the sparklers would come yeah, by, yeah, it's where like he does that, and then like the sparkle comes. Orange tights, Randy. That's, that's what he won. And the number one. I'm gonna actually kick it off. I'm gonna say it really, really fast. The Heartbreak Ch Kid, Shawn Michaels. Sexy boy. I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy and in my opinion, boy. I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy. Alright, we gotta hurry up. We're running down. Okay, go. Right now. That was my top five already. My number one would have to be Batista's theme song. Ooh, ominous, the ominous Batista was like the, oh, the I Walk Alone theme. The I Walk Alone. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go with one last tag team. One last tag team. Actually, no. You're not actually, I'm going to go with tag team. I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era music. I own. Oh, that is arguably, if not one of the greatest NXT theme songs to ever be made by them. One of the best of all time. Okay. Who else? That's you. My number? number one, ladies and gentlemen. Tiff Time. By Murphy Drive. Mm -hmm. It's called Memory. It is Maven's theme song. Oh my yes. Yes, yes. The greatest oh wrestler of all time. That's the man that one. eliminated The Undertaker from the Rumble. From That's 2002, right. and then that was only a thing he was recognized by. <laughs> He's also a former hardcore champion. There you go. Undertaker's a hardcore champion. champion. All right. So we got his number one. It's not that hard. We're going to have a debate well, between who's the greatest wrestler right now. Again, as we said, let us know in the comments your top five theme songs, or if you agree with anybody. Um, our last topic of the night, we, have we changed time. it up. Yeah, It'll be top five tag teams with, of all time. With, with about ten minutes left, because we're trying to keep it at our thirty something minute mark. Top five tag So can teams. we do this in ten minutes and do our closeouts? We'll find I'll out. Actually, right now, number five I'll top team tag teams. Five. Go. Number five it's for me will tough. be the New Day. 
I'm gonna kick it off from the new And the number five for me would have to be. It hates me saying it because Seth Rollins is one of my favorites, but the Shield was a dominant tag team. Ooh, remember when the Shield yeah. reign ended? I'm gonna say Owen Hart and Yokozuna is my number five. Who? who? Then they win the belt. My number like five would have to be uh, Evolution. That's also a faction, but I'm yes. Evolution. Well, they did win tag time. It does count for tag titles. Number four. four. Harlem four. Heat. Ooh. Number four for me. I'm gonna actually go with Eddie Guerrero. Los Guerreros and Chavo Guerrero. Oh, Los Guerreros. The Guerreros. One of the actually one of the few my favorite. Tag Number teams. four for me. One of the best tag teams in this generation. He's gonna judge you. On this. The Usos. Actually, sure, they're not even a tag team anymore. So he said one of. They good. were. What's your number? Did you ever say number four? Oh, number four. Oh, it will be Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Oh, they're kind of like the Rockers of their day. I don't know about that. Yeah, but yeah. better. I'm, I'm better. sorry, but I you can. That. I was you thinking more of Marty Jannetty and Leaf Cassidy, the new rockers. Yeah. Ooh, they number, suck. Number, number three. three. Number three is real simple. I forgot. I think. Oh, demolition. Oh yes. Actually, demolition. I'm gonna go with Axe number. Smash. I'm gonna go with number three. I'm gonna go Hogan and Macho Man. The Mega Powers. The Mega Powers that lasted for about a minute. They never. Really number three for me. One of the teams that was known for the TLC. The Dudley Boys. I thought you were say the Rockers. I mean the Rockers, the Hardys. <laughs> your number three is? Edge of Christian. Well, oh. to come back with that one, I'm going to go with another one of them teams, the Hardy Boys. Oh. Oh. Or I thought you were going to say Ian Number? Number? I'm going to go, I'm going to go a bit under down. We're going to go a bit more. Under down. We're going to go a bit more, didn't really know much. We're going to go with CM Punk and Kofi Kingston. They won the tag team belts. Oh. I so. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Shawn Michaels and Marty Janetti. The, the Rockers. And they number two too. for me. Yeah, right. They were great. No, they weren't. D Generation X. You mean the New Age Owens? Nope. No, you didn't know. Ben, ben, ben. They were DMs. What's your number two? Number two. This is tough up on the spot here. I'm gonna have to go with Edge and Christian. ENC. ENC. Very funny, very, very fun tag team. Very funny. And then. To end it off with like number one, throw the one. Rick Hammond Hart, Jim the Anvil Nightheart, the Hart Foundation. That is a fashion too? No. The Hart Foundation. Bret Hart, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. I'm going to actually go with. That's just mine. I'm going to go with the Judgment Day. Arguably one of the greatest tag teams right now. That is a fashion. That is not a fashion. They did win the tag team. That is a fashion. <laughs> and you chose Evolution. That's sir. Cool. You chose Evolution. Number one for me would have to be his number two. What? Edge and Christian. Mm-hmm. ENC. ENC. <laughs> Concertos. <laughs> There's the Jared show. You remember that tag team on the Miz show? Okay, this is not right, but whatever. I'm just picking a team. RVD and Kane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> KVD. KVD. <laughs> Kane. Wow, we are really digging down the deep. But besides that, really that I mean, no, it's not. Okay, but <laughs> besides which, E and C. But besides that, right. that is the that is basically all of our topics. Unless we want to end it off with the beat, which most likely we probably won't have enough time to. We have about twenty eight minutes and twenty seconds. And we, we have about like, twenty. No, we don't have about five minutes. We have about five minutes because we're trying to end our podcast. And actually, the it's right, three forty. The right show. I really right need to. I need to go to So, uh, yeah. Besides that, um. I'm gonna go so we're gonna. Uh, you'll see us real soon as uh, we're gonna probably follow this up with another video really soon, and we'll have some more debates for you. What we will debate about? Who knows? You just don't know. We might debate on our next podcast about top five finishers, <laughs> maybe top five movies, or we might even say our top five worst wrestlers ever. That would be a fun one. That would Friday be a fun Wednesday, one. Punk, number And five. we're going to... Oh, sorry. Don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil it. So until next time, this is... Manyo. Manyo. <laughs> ben. Gris. Gris. And number two. Nobody. <laughs> the invisible Ben who left. He was, so, he was never here. He was never here. He just imagined it. See y'all next time. Stay active. Stay commenting. Stay following. Stay share. In subscribe. <laughs> Don't do stay drugs. in school. Don't do drugs. Say no to. Say no to people. People. <laughs> <laughs> he left. He left us. He left us. <laughs>
Oh, we might do fa- fun movie quotes on our next podcast. Who knows? If you got a, something you can throw in for us to talk about, let us know. Or we might just talk 30 minutes of just random things. So. Scrubbly bobs. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. Favorite, favorite worst chips. Who would listen Leave to a that? comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. And we'll make You'd be for every comment you leave in the comments. You enter Mano into a drawing. To what? <laughs> <laughs> to meet Manuel. <laughs> for every comment that is commented, Mayo's got to eat one hot dog. The whole, the whole video. And he'll do it on the next podcast. Okay. So if you leave a comment, the next podcast. Let's get this to 100,000 comments. Or maybe the comment after. He could be eating a lot of hot dogs <laughs> and throwing them up at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so until next time. Stay. Join, what? Land. Stay. He said stay. <laughs> Join the Funhouse Retro Funhouse Podcast, the unedited podcast. Everything you seen here or heard and watched or whatever. Uh, we didn't cut out anything, so there you we go. We never do. Boom. We never do. <laughs> So until next time, join the Funhouse, Retro Funhouse. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye. Woo! Bye.